Hey everybody, it's Brooke with The Butter and Home and welcome to My Messy Kitchen. Today, we show you how to have sheet pan, fajita chicken and vegetables all in a flash in less than 30 minutes. So stay with us. Let's make some sheet pan fajitas. We're gonna start out with a pound of chicken tenderloins. I bought them already like this, but you can also get chicken breast and cut them to your preferred size. My oven is preheated to 425 degrees. So now we're going to add in a half of a red bell pepper, green bell pepper, and a yellow bell pepper, and about a half a cup of sliced red onion. You can use whatever combination that you like of those things, uh, but you want enough to kind of equal or almost double your chicken. Um, so we're going to give those a mix. This gives me a chance to kind of shake out those onion slices and get them as individual as I can. Also, this helps with the seasoning process so that we can kind of add everything together. The first thing we add is two to three tablespoons of olive oil. This gives us a good even old surface for all of the seasoning that we're going to add to stick to. Then we're gonna start out with a little salt to your taste preference. We do anywhere from a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon, and then anywhere from a quarter to a half a teaspoon of pepper. I probably add a little bit more pepper than most people do because that's where I like to get a lot of my flavor. Now we're going to add in some chili powder, one teaspoon of that, and that gives it that nice smoky chili taste. Now we have smoked paprika. Y'all know I love this. So this, we give it a good hearty two teaspoons of that for that nice smoky flavor. And then we add in cayenne pepper, about a quarter of a teaspoon, more or less to your liking, of course. <laughs> and then some minced garlic. I like a good heavy tablespoon of that that really adds a lot of interest. If you don't have minced, you can use garlic powder here and you can use about a full teaspoon of that. So we're gonna give those a nice big toss before we place them on our sheet pan. Like I said before, my oven is preheated to 425 degrees. So I'm gonna spread this out in a single layer on my prepared sheet pan. And when we pop these in the oven, they're gonna cook anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes. Now, during that time, I'm gonna set my timer to um, go off about every 10 minutes so that I can give them a stir. We want everything to be nice and even and evenly cooked. You might wanna flip that chicken, move your peppers and onions around so that everything gets nice and done all at the same time. Okay, we are back. So let's take a look at our beautiful chicken. We have finished a 30 minute cook time in which these guys have browned up nicely. All of those herbs and spices that we put on them really just adhered to the chicken and the vegetables. They have just turned into the delicious thing that they are. So you can take these and you can do this any way that you like. If you're low carb, this alone eats as a meal. It's fantastic, it's beautiful, and it just is the perfect thing. Now, you can stuff your taco shells, make a taco salad, have some soft um, tortillas on hand, and do anything you want with this and serve it with all of your favorite sides. And this chicken is fork tender, I just cut it with a fork. So I'm gonna pull up some of those peppers and onions and we're gonna take a bite. Mmm. Y'all, everything we used is a pantry staple. Fantastic. So, a lot of times you can buy fajita seasoning at the grocery store and it's fine. However, 
a lot of times prepackaged seasonings like that are just full of sodium, hidden sodium, sometimes hidden, hidden sugars. So I like to show you pantry staple alternatives to coming up with your own fajita mix that tastes probably better than what you would get in the store in a prepackaged item. I'm not knocking prepackaged items. I use them for convenience all the time. I'm just saying, let's be aware of what we're eating. <laughs> and this is a good way to do that, to have good basic recipes on hand where you can make your own in a pinch or if you're trying to be more aware of what you are eating. And these sheet pan chicken fajita uh, fajitas are fantastic. And we hope that you'll try them and love them. They're like all of our other recipes. They can be found over at thebutteredhome.com and have a free printable recipe for you. So we hope that you'll give that a try and let us know how you like it. Also, if you're not already, make sure you're following us on all of our social platforms. We have a real good time and we want you here with us for that. And as always, if you want all of our videos in one convenient place, head over to YouTube, search for The Buttered Home, and whenever you find us, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified when we drop new videos like this one. Y'all, this meal right here is right up my alley. I am tickled to death to be about to eat it, and so I'm not going to tarry here any longer. Y'all have a great day, and from The Buttered Home to your home, we sure love y'all. Bye.